Hey Sabres, I'm Noelle, coming to you from my home in Wailuku. And I'm Hie, and I also live in Wailuku. And this is your Maui High FYI, Quarantine Edition. It's been a crazy few weeks. I mean, the last time I saw you, Noelle, was right before spring break in March. I know. I miss you and everyone at Maui High. Right? Well, let's make sure we don't miss these announcements on Savers Need to Know. Maui High School will be having a Saber Clearance Week from May 11th to the 14th. The Clearance Week will allow seniors to clear obligations pick up yearbooks, honor certificates, diplomas, cap and gowns and accessories, and drop off textbooks. Please come at your designated day and follow all instructions. Once cleared, the student can participate in the drive through alternative commencement celebration on Sunday, May 17, 2020. Maui High will be hosting a virtual recognition night premiering on May 12th at 6 p.m. on Maui High's YouTube channel. A handful of scholarships will be presented within the video, so make sure to tune in to support our awardees. Speaking of awards, the Pele Awards finalists have been announced. The High School Pele Awards honors creative excellence in the art of advertising and design. The winners will be announced on Friday, May 15, 2020. Congratulations to our Sabre finalists. Juniors, please check your emails for your prom refund form. If you have any questions, please email your class advisor, Ms. Takahata or Ms. Joaquin. We would like to send a shout out to Saltwater Signs in Lahaina for donating this banner in honor of our seniors. Mahalo to senior Ralph Kakayorin for the design. One good thing about this quarantine is I'm getting a lot of sleep and I'm able to binge watch a lot of shows. Yeah, I've been sleeping in like crazy. And I've watched too many movies to count. Let's see what other people are watching. Aloha, everybody. I hope you guys are doing fine in this time of quarantine. Lately, I've been binge watching All American on Netflix, and I suggest you watch it because it's very drama filled and there's so many problems in every episode and it never gets boring. Thank you. During this quarantine, I've been binge watching Brooklyn Nine Nine on Hulu because it's just funny and the comedy has been getting me through this weird time. So during this quarantine, I've been watching Jane the Virgin on Netflix and one reason why you all should watch it is because it's really funny and if you're in Spanish, it's like a little way to review your notes in Spanish and there's like a hundred episodes, so there's a hundred episodes to review Spanish. Hi Sabres, so during quarantine, I've been re-watching Gossip Girl on Netflix. And the reason you should watch Gossip Girl is because it has a lot of drama, and I feel like we all love drama. Bye! Hello, Miss Holland here. And during quarantine time, I've been watching Netflix, a show called Outlander, a story about a young woman who travels back in time to the 1700s, a beautiful snapshot of history. What have you been watching? Oh, I heard Jane the Virgin is really good. But... You know what comes with watching movies? Food. But remember, with a lot of parents being laid off, the Maui Food Bank is seeing a huge increase on the amount of people needing assistance. So, here's a PSA to find out how you can help. Maui Food Bank's mission is to help the hungry in Maui County, and they need your help. They are in need of food items to fill the empty shelves and cash donations. For more information, please call the Maui Food Bank at 808-243 9500 or donate online at www.myfoodbank.org. At this point, the Maui Food Bank is still looking for cash donations. So, if you can, please visit the maui.foodbank.org/donate. Or, if your family needs assistance, please visit the Maui Food Bank website for more information. And don't forget the DOE is still providing breakfast and lunch at these locations for anyone under the age of 18. And the DOE is offering a free health hotline and telehealth for students on Mondays to Fridays. Speaking of health, here is Pomai with the Hawaiian word of the day. Aloha, 
My name is Pamaika Laliki and I hope everyone is doing their part at staying safe. Today's Hawaiian word of the week is ulupo, which means sudden sickness. I know these past few months have been hard, but despite all of what's going on, we all need paulele, which means to have faith. And during tough times like this, we all need paulele so things can get better. So Sabres, make sure you all stay safe and healthy at home. It's nice to learn some Hawaiian language, since we do live in Hawaii. And it's great because we get to learn more about our culture too. Hey, you know some sabers are staying in shape by participating in the saber challenge. Hi sabers, I'm here to talk to you today about the saber fitness challenge. The saber fitness challenge is a way for Maui high school students to participate in physical activity and have a little bit of fun during these rough times. During the month of May, we are going to test your muscular strength, your muscular endurance, and your flexibility. We hope that you participate in these monthly challenges. To do so, make sure to upload your favorite video onto your social media account and hashtag FitSaberChallenge. To see more information about the Fit Saber Challenge, please check into your MauiHigh.org Gmail account. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay active. That's right, Sabers, stay active. And congratulations to Ms. Adkins for winning Hawaii Health and PE Teacher of the Year. So, Hie, what else have you been doing during quarantine? I have been spending a lot more time with my two dogs, Kai and Mana. It's been really nice to be able to bond with them. Yeah, my dog Luna has been getting a lot more attention. But hey, let's introduce other people's pets in this next segment. Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Noah Sakamoto, aka local film producer. So I've been asked to do this little quarantine video and this. <laughs> this is my dog Bailey. So my dog Bailey is a really nice dog, but when it comes to playing with other dogs, he's not really good. He likes to fight with them and stuff, but he's just been helping me during quarantine, just keeping me company, getting me out of the house, and uh, yeah, that's about it. This is Quincy. Um... We've had him for seven years, and how Punchy is helping us through quarantine right now is watching over the house whenever we go on grocery runs, and he keeps me company when my parents are out working. This is my dog, Callie. Um, she's kind of a dork, but she helps me and my family make sure that we go outside, get some sun, and overall just stay optimistic. Peanut. So this is one of my dogs, Peanut. This is Capitan, and that's Neo. And this is my other dog, Pumpkin. And they've been giving me motivation during quarantine to go outside. Hi, my name is Riley Octaguem, and this is my dog, Ehu. She's a miniature dachshund. She has a sister outside, but they're both kind of heavy, so I only chose one. Um, the way they've both been helping me through quarantine is reminding me that the house is never quiet with them and I can bother them and not get in trouble. Because look at this cute little face. Who wouldn't want to bother her? Anyways, stay safe in quarantine. And not only are those pets getting love, so many others are too. According to NBC News, there has been a 70% increase in pet fostering and adoptions recently. That's amazing. I'm so glad more pets are finding loving homes. And hey, speaking of loving homes, doesn't our Maui High family have some new additions? Yes, we want to welcome six new savers to our Maui High family, and three more are on the way. You know, I really do consider Maui High a big family. After all, my mom works at the school, so basically everyone is family. I agree. Maui High is like a family to me, and I feel like I am missing part of my family because the seniors are leaving. It's sad to see our seniors go, but we have some more information for the seniors. Let's hear from the senior class officers in this next segment.
to the Maui High Class of 2020. It's definitely been a crazy four years with all of you. We are now officially the largest graduating class of Maui High School. Ever since freshman year, we have had the honor of being your council members. Very, very big mahalos for allowing us to bring you all together as one. The class of 2020. Even though our senior year got cut short, our memories will last a lifetime. We will never forget where we started and where we are ending. This is just the beginning of our futures. We may not be having the traditional graduation ceremony that we always dreamed of. But don't ever think that all of our hard work is going unnoticed. We all have bright futures ahead of us, so continue to work hard. We'll get through it together. Bruh, see that run over here got nothing on us, okay? We got this. We are the future. We are the class of 2020. We are. 2020 is strong. strong. Yeah, it's kind of weird not having a traditional Hawaii-style graduation. But in honor of graduation being canceled, Maui High and other public schools are turning on their stadium lights at 8.20. That's 20.20 in military time. Every Friday for 20 minutes and 20 seconds in honor of the class of 2020. The lighting is called hashtag be a light. And this isn't the only way we get to show our saber spirit. Our Maui High Student Council has made it possible to show our saber spirit virtually. Let's check out the next segment to hear more about our upcoming Spirit Week. Hey Sabres! Even if we can't be at school physically, we can still have school pride virtually. Starting May 11th is Maui High's Virtual Spirit Week. First is Mask Monday. Post a pic of you and your mask. Next is TikTok Tuesday. Share your fave TikTok. We wish you the best Wednesday! Share a pic with the senior you'll miss. Throwback Thursday. Share a baby picture of yourself. Formal Friday. Share your ball, prom, or banquet attire. Saber Saturday. Share a pic of you in anything saber. And lastly is Sleepy Sunday. Post your quarantine fit. We hope you participate in Virtual Spirit Week. Don't forget May 11th to May 17th. So excited to participate. Sabres, don't forget to post pictures with the hashtag, Sabres staying in. On a serious note, the COVID-19 situation is slowly getting better, but I still see people not social distancing. I don't think people understand the seriousness of the situation and why it's important to stay home. That's why in our next segment, we'll spread awareness by showing you a PSA on staying home. I stay home for the first responders and healthcare workers who can't. For all the ACOM students and teachers. For the marching band and color guard students that couldn't perform. I stay at home for all the students involved in sports whose seasons got canceled. For the robotics students that didn't get to finish their season. I stay home for all the seniors who aren't able to have the traditional graduation we all wanted. Lives are being put on hold because of COVID-19. We are being stripped of memories we could be making. Everywhere you look, someone is struggling. The nurse who is risking her life for her patients. The senior who lost his graduation. The mom who got laid off and can't feed her kids. And the man who is battling the virus with every last breath. We may not be able to get rid of this virus in one day, but we can prevent it from spreading any longer. Stay home, and you might just save a life. Well, that's all we have for this show. We're going to show everyone a video to remind everyone to stay saber strong. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Sunshine in the rain when it's pouring Would you give yourself to me? Give it all Ooh, I just want to sing I just want to sing How beautiful you are You know that I sing Sorry.
think if students were to try to take a different perspective and realize that the situation we're in is way bigger than just ourselves, you know? So I think if we can contribute in a little way of like helping out our parents when we can, um, reaching out to our friends to keep in touch, and then just keeping ourselves healthy, um, mentally and physically and emotionally healthy. I feel like through this quarantining situation, um, definitely we're grateful for what we have.